can smell like it. Hey guys, I know this is a lot different than normal. Usually, Trey's the one to say, hey, my reptile junkies, right? That's right. But I've had so much appreciation from you guys uh, individually. There's some of you that always make sure to uh, list me in there like West Coast Arachnids. I don't like to name names, but there are a few that I just want to say I really appreciate it. If I leave anybody out, you let me know. Herpin SoCal was an earlier supporter of mine. <laughs> uh, and One Red, that was really sweet what you said yep. the other day. Dave Scott, I am glad that you would think that I could make your shirt well. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, that was a lot of people that said that, <laughs> that I did a great job on the shirts. I'm glad yep. you like that. It's really cool, guys. Uh, but I just wanted to say I appreciate everything. I read all the comments. I'm going to pass it back to Trey because I hate this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you did awesome, baby. Good stuff. What is going on, with my reptile junkie? And that's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, April. Um, she had, you know, re she reads all the comments, of course, and and uh, she said, "I really want to tell them, you know, thanks." I said, "Well, you gotta tell them thanks. You gotta get on the camera there and do it." And she hates the camera guys. So I'm so proud of her for doing that. Y'all go back and look. Her shirt says Nuka Cola. <laughs> I mean, a lot of y'all get that, some of you won't. If you don't get the Nuka Cola thing, I'm sorry. I know I'm old. I just figured out what the triggered thing was all about. Oh, wow. Uh, really? Yeah, it was on Animark live stream, uh, actually, and one red. And, uh, there's a couple other people going back and forth, and so I had to put it out there. What's this triggered thing? And uh, they explained it's something to do with Mimi's. <laughs> and, uh, computer generated little deals, I guess. But anyway, you did great, April. You did great, baby, and uh, I'm sure I hope y'all enjoy it, guys. Uh, gonna do an unboxing. We got some stuff in, so I'm gonna set up a table real quick, show you some stuff, talk about some stuff, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Stay tuned. Guys. All right, guys, on with the unboxing. Now, I got some feeders in today and a couple other products. I was gonna show you. I hadn't done an unboxing in a while. I really hadn't gotten anything spectacular in in a while, so... But, I mean, this isn't really spectacular, but of course, if uh, I come across something, a good company or good product, you know, I like to show it to you guys, and, and it might help you out too, so that's the great thing about YouTube. Anyway, these things are packaged awesome. They come from perfectprey.com, and I'll show you the packaging, because we, I was going to open it and film it, and it was going to take forever, so check it out. It's like an insulated bag, and it had a really good sized bag of dry ice in here with them. Now everything is still solid as a rock, frozen, and packaged really nice, guys. Chicks, I got two bags of chicks, so that's 50 or 25 in a bag. 9.75 a bag for 25. That's really not bad at all. No. Um, these are the. Those are going to be the kind of a medium mouse, uh, 25 pack. Call them the smalls. 13.75 for 25 of them. Now, the shipping, I'm sure, is going to stay around the same. Now, it was $28 for the shipping, so if it may not help you out, go into the reptile show, you know, if you're not really buying in quantity, but, I mean, that's not, that's still not awful if you think about Petco, because this is 50 pinkies that was 10 bucks. okay? Petco, what are they, like three? $2 or something? I think it was more than that. Two pack? It's went up know. to, like, almost $3 a, I, a pinky here. I hadn't bought in so long from some place like that so you guys tell me how much are they at petco right now uh should be saving some money at 10 bucks even if you pay the shipping and just order a bag of mice too you know um another bag of chicks awesome and these rats are just perfect i was i got medium rats instead of large i had picked up some larges at the reptile show and i mean they're solid frozen such a it's a really good company um first time i've ever ordered from them i think i said that but everything's clean, super good and packed, guys. So that's perfect prey. Go check them out. Really neat. The way they've done that. We're gonna have some fun with that dry eyes. I think we're gonna play around with it. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't let the kids should enjoy that. Yeah, be careful there. That stuff will burn you. Yes, it will burn you. All right. Um, the other thing I got in was pretty neat. And I, I gotta thank um, Dusty uh, Reptile Jones. I saw it on one of his videos. He, uh, if you go to Facebook and you Shit, go to, 
Yeah, like I said, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna thaw some of that stuff out, and I'll throw some feeding clips in at the end for See, you guys. I'm, I'm a, hungry. I'm gonna give him a. <laughs> He's always a, hungry. He'll get a couple of those pinkies for sure. But uh, here's the card. It's a company. They've been out for a few months. I went back and I done a little research. Uh, Ligardi. If you go to their Facebook page, they're running a promotion. They'll send you a bag, you know, to give it a shot. And uh, I'm going to give it a fair shake, you know, guys. It, it's got some pretty good claims on the back uh, about preventing uh, fungus and bacterial infections, you know. Uh, it's got to be something about how it's blended, I'm assuming. But we're going to give it a good shakedown. I'm going to get a couple more bags, I think. I really like the texture of it. Um, you know, it's, it looks to be a really good substrate. It, you know, compared, it's like $12.99 I saw online. So compared to like Eco Earth or something, equivalent size bag, I mean, it's, you know, that same price range. So, you know, it's, just, it's really cool. But <clears throat> I went, I done a little bit of research, like I said, on them. Uh, they offer a, a, a good bit of other stuff. The Dubia food, I'm, you know, kind of interested in it. It says it's, you know, it's not made with corn and wheat which most of the dubia foods out there commercial wise are, are made of that kind of stuff but it'd be a good staple food to have so i'm going to add some in but uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna probably do the maybe the tree boa and a, you know one of the spiders i guess tree python yeah dang it i'm still <laughs> thinking about that yes uh i have had uh, emerald tree python on my brain and i said that in the last video you had tree boa on your brain. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> yeah. We've been looking at these quite a bit. Anyway. He wants another one similar, so that might be our next snake. I don't what know, do you think? Because I got some news today. I ain't going to go into that. I got two cool items that might be coming my way. I don't know. I might take in. Thanks to another YouTuber. Yeah, we'll get into that in another video. Um, but anyway, back to this stuff. I really... It, it looks it looks to be a really good product. I like how small it is. Have to go check them out. Some other stuff about you know being safe for you know, your small baby baby uh, lizards, bearded. Um, we'll check it out and see. But it seems to hold. You know, just play with it in the bag. It seems like it'll clump together pretty good to where you can get that burrowing effect and I actually mix my own to kind of get that effect. If you look at you know a couple of enclosures. Their mix and my mix is really close. <laughs> no, but. Ah, uh, but that's pretty neat. Go check out their Facebook. Lagardi. Zoom in on one more time so they can get it. There's a couple other guys that's made videos about it, but it is made in the USA. One thing I would, I'd like to know what all is actually in it, but we're going to try it out. <laughs> So we'll see how see. it works. Give it a fair shakedown. In a couple of weeks, I'll make a video, guys, and let you know how it worked out for sure. Um, something else we got in. Collagen casings. Now, this is really nothing more than an intestine in a bag. This is supposed to make, like, 21 pounds of sausage out of this one tube right here. That's going to be so neat. We have a, a meat grinder, like hamburger maker, that uh, has little attachments and such, you know, so we can do this, make sausages. It's something I've wanted to try for a while and just never really got around to doing. But we're gonna put a hodgepodge of stuff together and I'm gonna make my own sausages, but they're gonna be for, you know, like Poseidon and uh, the Savannah mainly. That's gonna be the yeah. thing that's gonna probably benefit the most from these. We're gonna give that a shot. We'll do that in another video too. Um, that's really that's all I got, you know, for tonight, guys. I just wanted to take a second and show you all that. Oh, hold on. One more thing. This oh, was really yeah, cool. Yeah, really neat. They found this on our journeys. It's like a spark plug. It's a pretty neat little arc somebody made out of just shop stuff. I mean, I thought it was, it was really cool. It was down at Holden Beach. Yeah, we're going. Shop. We're going to be going back there soon, guys. I'm going to be trying to go and catch me another shark or two. Uh, that's really fun. If you go back to one of my other videos, was in Florida, is a blast. So maybe I'll get some good footage if I catch them. If I don't catch them, I don't know. We'll still get some footage of something. So yeah, we'll find something to film. Looking forward to that <laughs> trip coming up soon. And 
other than that, guys, hope you have a great week. Hope you enjoyed it. So I just got in from work. This stuff come in. I wanted to sit down and do a quick video with y'all. Uh, stay safe, guys. Appreciate you watching as always. Thanks again. Time. Yeah, that is so cool, isn't it? I always love playing with dries. You gotta be careful that stuff will burn you. It's really neat though. Alright, let's go feed some stuff. I think my husband, a little chick. His water's draining, so I figured I'd feed him while it was happening. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. So he keeps it out. Not in the water. There we go. Gone. All right. Let's go feed something else. Yeah. And a wrap. I want to get a bit nasty water draining. He took a nice poo in it. Yeah. Shake it. Still alive, check it. Crunch. I feel like crunching. Oh, That's it. Say bye. Slurping up like spaghetti. Insane. Alright, now we're gonna feed like I guess it take you. Yeah, tongue going. You want that, don't you? Oh yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Oh. Yeah, he's a really hearty eater. <laughs> he loves here. to eat. Another pinky mash. He's a really good one, too. And go. <laughs> Let's go feed a teggy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no jumper. Look. He thinks he is. Look, he car here. Food. You'll see some food aggression. Don't get it in the dirt, dude. Leave him alone. He won't. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> and he just ate. He is yeah. not that hungry. <laughs> yeah. He loves his food, though. That's <laughs> so cool. You want it? Yeah. Try to get it in the dirt. I'm gonna miss him. He's dry. That's the bad thing about this wood cage. Nope. Get her in the rock. Get it in there. Yeah, it's too dry. Hope you enjoyed it guys, have a good night.